Good evening, everybody. I'm joined by Port Vale's assistant manager, Dave Kevin. Dave, what's the dressing room feeling like at the moment? I imagine it's, it's on top of the room and it's struggling to get it back down. Well, they're entitled to, to uh, be, be full of it tonight. They've, they've put in an a absolutely fantastic performance. Uh, we're delighted to get the win for our travelling fa fans. We know how much they've sort of suffered on the roads already this season. But we always felt that we were capable of winning away and uh, there's no better place than to come here and win tonight. Long overdue as well. And it's been coming. The performances we've been putting in away from home, bar the likes of Grimsby and Macclesfield, they've been there. It's just about getting that, that win over the line, isn't it? And, and we've done it finally at last. Yeah, obviously very very pleased with the result tonight. But we, yeah, we felt that uh, you know the gaffer's maintained that all along. He's uh, he stayed very calm about it. You know, it's a tight league. You, you can see that by the just looking at the league table, and uh, and the gaffer's been you know very consistent with how we've gone about the work and and what he wants from his players. Nothing's changed. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can start to uh, reap the benefits of it. And as you said that, he's remained calm throughout this entire process. And compared to, we spoke to him after Saturday, compared to last season, this sort of sticky situation is, is nowhere near the sticky situation we were in when you first came into the club in February. He's stuck by what he, what he believes in. He's brought an identity to the club and he's finally seen that away win. I bet he's absolutely delighted as well. Shame we can't speak to him as well. He's had to dart off pretty quickly, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Uh, no, I think everyone in the dressing room, the players are delighted for him we're at, at the back room staff were all delighted for him uh, you know he, he, he does stay calm and uh, people mistake that for uh, maybe being a little bit sort of laid back but I can assure you he, he, he's not laid back when he's working with them players so uh, you know credit to him we're, and we're all delighted tonight. Did you feel like you were playing against every man and his dog out there today? Well I, I, I'm not one for talking about referees and linesmen and what have you but uh, there was one or two decisions that we felt you know didn't go our way and and just on the whole how we how we managed the game you know but listen thankfully you know we, we can talk about a, a good three points here this evening and the penalty was a bit of a deception really for the performance wasn't it because you take that penalty away we head into half time with a clean sheet and looking back on that first half as a terrific first half performance wasn't it yeah we we we, we set out to try and you know obviously pose them a threat which we did uh, we didn't want to be camped in our own half we, we wanted to try and press the ball high up the pitch and and we did that and we, we caused them all sorts of trouble in the in the first half and you know if we'd have gone in leading at half time I don't think anyone would have complained you opted to, to leave Will Atkinson on the bench there this evening he comes on against his former club pops up and scores the last minute winner goal like can't get much better than that for you. he must be knocking on your door now thinking get me back in the squad Saturday well he, you know he, he's certainly made a contribution there this evening and you know we're delighted for Will he's uh, he's, he's a top pro and uh, he deserves that tonight but uh, no uh, the gaffer felt it was, it was time to make a little change in the midfield and we felt Will's experience in such a you know a fiery high tempo game would uh, would help us towards the latter stages of the game we we ca I can't say that we expected him to go and get the winner. <laughs> and I think a lot of people would have forget forgotten as well that he's not played a lot of football really, has he? He had his pre-season training, but he's only just come into the frame of things for Port Vale and played a couple of games. So it's probably about time he, he needed a rest as well. Yeah, that 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 is that's exactly right. You know, you, you know, he's come in, he's he's played two, three games on the on the spin, and you know, tonight was an opportunity where we felt maybe young Scotty who'd come in and done fantastic would give us that little bit more energy, a little bit more uh, brightness, if you like. And, uh, and he did that, and, and, but Will's come on and uh, stole, a, stole a glory at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine, you know, for me as well, as hard as it is to calm down and, and maybe enjoy this game too much, focus turns to Saturday now, Oldham at home and hoping to extend our unbeaten home run. Yeah, that, that, the gaff was just uh, rounded the night up, you know, obviously delighted, fantastic. The boys have been tremendous, but... You know, get our minds on Saturday now, and it's important that we back this up with uh, with a back-to-back win. Well, right. Cheers, pal. Thank you. Yes, and yourself.